Hi, everyone, Chicago. I am in Chicago. My name is Jean Yoon, photographer, double beanie. Um, I'm very excited that you're joining my channel. Welcome. And today's video is going what? to be about. <laughs> what are you? What are you doing? I'm a photographer, hipster. Excuse me. <laughs> this is this is my video. And look at my hipster outfit. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is what are you doing right now? Stop my, it. My glasses. Who are you talking to? <laughs> no. Go away. Go away. Um. Yeah. I. I don't know. But as Lois mentioned, my name is Jean, and I'm a photographer here in Chicago. And today's video is about shooting or taking photographs at night. Clearly we're in our home, we're not outside, but I really wanted to um, just do a video about taking portraits in the dark. And you know, in today's video, I actually won't even really cover like technique or what I'm really doing. If anything, this is a personal project that I've been wanting to do for a while. So if anything, we're gonna take some photos and I might roll just a, a bit of like b-roll maybe just have the camera roll a little bit for you guys but if anything i'll probably just throw up images that we're taking tonight and um yeah i hope you guys enjoy it as far as equipment it doesn't really matter but um this is some of the stuff that i'm using tonight for this video i'll be shooting all my photos on a canon eos r i'll be using two lenses one being the canon 35 millimeter 1.4 and this is a 24 millimeter tilt shift. So I don't know if I'll break this out. I'm gonna to try to for a few portraits. But yeah, these are the two lenses that I plan on using. And then the main light source, if maybe the only light source we use today is going to be that light back there. Uh, the one that I happen to have is from a company called Color Spike. It's just an RGB light, so it has different functions, but that's a light that we're gonna use as both our key light and our backlight. And then last but not least, I will be using some atmosphere haze. I have a few cans of this, but really all I'm using this for is to create density in the air to give us that like filmy, like moody look, just to fill the air with um, yeah, more density. So. Yeah. Really today's video is not necessarily showing you a specific technique or even walking you through my thought process as I photograph Lois tonight, but it's really just to show you, I guess really another avenue of taking creative portraits, especially as we're all still stuck at home right now, just using our time and using the equipment that we have available um, just to make and create things. And so this is a shoot that I've been concepting for a while. That's the goal is just take some fun photos, really cool photos, hopefully, and show you guys the photos that we take. So that's it. Let's go. Hope you enjoyed some of those photos that Lois and I took tonight. And honestly, I have a lot more fun ideas coming up for this year to make a lot more videos for this channel. Uh, but thanks so much for your support and I'll see you guys in the next. <laughs> Sorry, hold up. Wow, what is going on? Hold on? Let me teach you. Let me teach you. You gotta you gotta talk to the camera, like talk to the camera and say like and subscribe. Uh, click the bell and I'll see you in the next video.
butterflies. Bye bye, butterflies.